uh, in this video we are going to discuss about if some issue comes how to uh, gather the uh, logs in access manager so that it can be attached with the SR so uh, for this what we are going to do these are the some configuration options that I will add to the access gateway to go to advanced option and put this thing. the log label uh, should be at info otherwise if, if you uh, if you will put a debug here it will uh, it will uh, dump a lot of information but uh, most of the time info is used but in some cases debug can be used okay. that I will update access gateway The second step is to set this logging option in the identity provider. For that, we have to go to the identity server and cluster these this two things should be enabled. And then here, this application should be always in debug. And then based on the scenario, you have to enable one or two of these option. In this case, I will just enable everything as a debug. If you don't know what, what scenario you are working on, then just enable debug for all. But don't forget to change it back once you are done, otherwise the log will fill up the disk space very quickly. We will update the server here. You need to update the access gateway also, because this, the, these logging options should, will be used by ESP also. Once the, now, now the configuration is done here, you can go to the auditing channel logging. Okay, here you can see all the components with the log file with its path. It is always good to uh, gather the logs uh, of less size, uh, and it's always uh, good to gather the logs for uh, for the particular issue. So that uh, what you should do, you should take these logs just empty it. For emptying you have to just copy this log and uh, go to the respective machines and do a redirection like this. Redirection and the file name and just enter. So it will empty the log. By this way uh, you will gather less logs but this step is completely, it's, uh, it's not mandatory but it is good if you follow this step so that the log size will be less and uh, it will help uh, in the debugging also. So this 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 step you need to do for all the logs which is available. You have to uh, go to the particular machine and do these steps. If, uh, if, if you will empty these logs, after that, once you gathered all the logs, uh, you, you reproduce the issue, then you can just click this, it will take all the logs and you can use the download option. Okay. Now, uh, that's why this five step is saying try to capture logs for only the issue. It's not mandatory but suggested and there are two ways either you can empty the log files and download from admin console or you can just go to the particular server and do a tlf for these logs in this case you cannot download it from administration console but you have to go to this system and take this file separately Okay, now uh, when you are emptying the log, if you are following the five step, you have to do for all the IDP and all the Macs on that cluster. So it will, it is always a good idea if your issue is not related to the cluster, it's good to restrict the access to only one IDP and only one admin uh, access gateway using host entries. So, uh, this is the uh, first part of the video. In the second part of the video, we will talk about the 
we will we will uh, take a scenario and just see how to reproduce this loss. Thank you.